Hi everyone, it's Elle here to do a quick spread. It's called, or it's entitled, um, Will This Person Contact Me? Will they contact me? So we're going to start with Aries. We're going to start with two cards indicating if the person will contact. And then one card to let Aries know what they should do if the person does contact them. I hope that everyone's having a really good holiday. Okay. Right. So Aries, will the person contact you? Queen of Air, Hermit. Looks like you guys are in separation. Looks like somebody's at a place of trying to figure out what to do in regards to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You may have retreated or they retreated. Um, it looks like there, there's not going to be much contact here. Um, yeah, to a fire. You're, someone's deciding if they even want to even be in this anymore. If They should just cut their losses and go a, a new path, a new direction with the two of fire. Um, somebody's at a, a, a fork in the road, a, a cross in the road. Um, do I continue on the rocky terrain or do I go the valley which is easier and more peaceful so it looks like there's not going to be much contact for Aries if it is it may very well be extremely hostile okay all right so Aries I hope that this helped you out take care hi Taurus so we're here to see if they will contact you will they contact Taurus two cards to indicate if they will contact Taurus one card to indicate what Taurus should do. Advice for Taurus. If they, if this person or people contact you. Whoever you came to the reading for. Okay. okay, so Taurus. Nine of Swords, the Empress. Looks like you may be or they're in some type of mental funk. Uh, anxiety about communication. About communicating with you. Or vice versa. Um, I don't see them moving forward and communicating because there's high anxiety. There is um, mental anguish. They're dealing with their own demons here. They feel like they messed up with you. Like there's not a chance. If they do contact you, wow. The advice here is to fool. Start over with them. Um, do understand they're here. Nine of Swords. Or, or this is you, vice versa. I really feel like this is them over you. Um, could be go, you could be an Aquarius, a uh, cross watcher, some, or an Aries. The advice is to give them a, another chance. Start over, put the past behind you. Start again. Start anew. Okay. Because this person really is distraught or about the lack of communication or the way things is, are going. So that's the advice here. Um, this person could even be having some health issues, health related issues here. Mental health related issues. Something to do with mom here. Okay. All right, Taurus, I hope this helped you out. There's the advice. Uh, take care. And now we're on to... Gemini or Cancer. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, hi Gemini. So you want to know if the person will contact you? Let's see. Let's do two cards. Will they contact Gemini? What should Gemini do? Advice card if they contact you. All right. Let's see. Ten of Wands. Ten of Swords. Ooh, this person may be dying. Done, done, done. Ten of Wands and Ten of Swords. You could um, receive communi communication that takes you to utter devastation. It, this has already happened. Somebody wants to lay down the burden of maybe a secret that brings you to, because there's a moon there, a full moon also, um, about uh, an ending. Something that you feel blindsided about. The advice here is to let things change. If there is contact with this person or heavy or uh, communication, know that 
it may not be the best to be dealing with a fire sign or another air sign. Let the will of change happen. Let the will of fortune happen for yourself. Um, this is destined to happen. Okay? Or you could be doing this to someone else, Gemini. I hope that this gave you a bit of clarity about your situation. Uh, book a personal reading if you need to. Uh, happy holidays, Gemini. And now on to Cancer. Hi, Cancer. So you want to know if the person you're coming to the reading for, if, whoa, if they will contact you. That's a lie. Okay. Oh, okay, Cancer. This is the first time the cards have done this today. All right. Two cards to indicate if the person will contact you. And one card of advice, if they do contact you, what should you do? It's just advice. You don't have to take it. All right. So we have the tower. Ooh, the ace of wands. It looks like there might be something going on in this person's life or yours where things are falling down. It gives you opportunity, motivation to take action. Maybe you will contact them. Maybe with some passionate uh, message. Or just a, an event that brings mental, spiritual clarity about maybe a situation that you're in. It needs to break down. This is a, this is an event that brings illumination. The sun. There's the event. Um, the advice here about contact. Nine of Pentacles. It looks like you need you need to remain single or you need to contact maybe the single person or the advice is um, be ready for partnership if they do contact you if they contact you it's because something has broken down in their life or vice versa this could be you and then you need to be ready in knowing that this person is ready for partnership or you need to be ready for partnership this person is serious okay uh, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. All right, so Cancer. Looks like there's opportunity for communication here, especially with events happening. Um, Cancer, I hope that this gave you a bit of clarity. Go over book a reading if you need to. Take advantage of that Cyber Monday sale. Uh, and we are on to the next sign. Bye. Hi, Leo. So you want to know if this person will contact you. Okay, so two cards to indicate if there will be contact. One card to indicate what you should do, the advice, if they do contact you. Oh, okay. One card of advice. Okay, Nine of Cups. That's your advice and ten of swords. Strength card. Leo, they're taming themselves, or you are, in regards to maybe an ending, feeling backstabbed, betrayed, um, hurt. You don't want to talk to this person about what happened or what is happening. But it looks like the advice is that you wished and you hoped for this. You manifested to have maybe this person in your life, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you manifested an ending with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or, or an ending with maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or another Leo like yourself. But it looks like some of you found enlightenment within yourself within this dynamic to go ahead and let this end will will there be contact it doesn't look like it because somebody's completely taming themselves in regards to this ending but at the same time hopeful and, and wishing maybe for a new beginning
the worst is over here but yet you're still closed off or, or or taming yourself your desire your passion that you have for said person but still wishing for them I don't look like that it didn't look like there's gonna be much communication it should and you're hoping for it um, so that's your reading Leo I hope it gave you a bit of clarity we're on to the next sign take care hi Virgo so you want to know if this person will contact you we've got two cards indicating if this person will contact you one card of advice if they do contact you okay. and that one card of advice all right ten of hearts Ace of, it looks like Virgo um, either they're very happy or they're in a family dynamic they're just happy with something that ended because something also began for them I feel like this is like self-love Virgo so what you should do if they do contact you is maybe offer partnership be concrete about what you want with them if it's if it's to build and grow something then you need to voice that and you need to act in that manner ten of hearts in the ace of spade this is like the death card like an ending happened here but a new beginning this person finally released something um they could communicate with you the ace of spades is a communication card but it, it, it looks like it very well may be the about how they found con contentment and um, happiness the highest level of happiness maybe in their own dynamic what they're doing so looks like you're gonna have to put the work in to get this person to to play ball you could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Earth sign like yourself, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I hope that this gave you a bit of clarity, Virgo. And now we're on to the next sign. Take care. Okay. Hi, Libra. It's Elle here to do the, your reading. Uh, will this person contact you? Let's see. The person that you're coming to the reading for. Will this person contact you? Two cards to indicate that this person will contact you one card for your advice if the person does contact you all right come on your cards don't want to talk really well one card of it right? Okay, so we got the page of wands and the moon in reverse. Yes, this person will contact you. Maybe a fire sign or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're also offering something. It might be activity. Let's go have fun. So it looks like they will contact you. Maybe they they might even l express true feeling, th or some truth will come out in the interim of maybe you accepting. What should Libra do? The Four of Pentacles in reverse. All right. So you should let your guard down and uh, allow this person to show you who they are. To be Capricorn Virgo Taurus, you should re release release the wall let them in that looks good Libra you have the best one um I hope that that gave you a bit of clarity uh and now we're on to the next sign Scorpio take care okay so we're on to Scorpio will this person contact you Scorpio right, got one here some of you are waiting for a contact this person is really trying to ready things for you Queen of yeah Queen of Pentacles this person is really trying to get things in order 
Uh, wow, the, what did I say? Two of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So yes, you would definitely have contact about how this person may be shifting or changing course here. Some truth and clarity about how they feel about this union. Two of Cups. Your advice here is to just allow... Um, Make a clear and solid decision and allow and be rational. Be rational, uh, be logical, but more so rational. I think this person may be already in something, in a relationship, in a, they're trying to untangle, unwind, I don't know, maybe move closer to you. Allow it to happen. Um, Rest easy knowing that this person looks at you, it may be as the Queen of Pentacles, the quintessential good wife, or the, the idea of a, of a good wife, or a husband. They want something stable with you, and your advice is to just know that, rest in knowing that this is uh, what they want with you, and that they're, they're possibly making changes, they'll give you some fast and hard truth. It might be a bit confrontational because the energy that they're in is trying to wrap up and tie up maybe with within a situation that is just not pretty anymore. So they may be going through their own thing. So you need to be as rational and logical, um, as loving, as open as the Queen of Pentacles is. Um, it's turbulence over there. It needs to be peace over here because they're trying to do what it is you want them to do all right hope that this gave you a bit of clarity scorpio and now we're on to the next sign hi sagittarius so you want to know if this person will contact you okay so we'll do two cards see if they'll contact you one card of advice let's see. and what's the advice for sagittarius what's the advice okay Oh, right. Will of Fortune. Some things are changing. Wow, the lovers. Sagittarius. You could be dealing with Gemini. It looks like this person is l allowing change to happen. Allowing things to, ha to flow naturally, Sagittarius. They're allowing you to make a choice in regards to you fill in the blank. Or they're trying to make a choice in regards to which lover they want. Um, th for me, honestly, it didn't look like much communication here. It just really looks like there's a lot of passion and a lot of just kind of going with the flow for now. Your advice is if they do contact you, the death card. Mm. Your advice may be to allow things to transform. For some of you, it's going to be ended. With this, maybe with a Scorpio person, Gemini. Or vice versa. Somebody needs to make a decision here. Change is upon this connection. Um, it needs to transform, change, or end. There is nothing in between here. There's decision, and then we're, we're moving forward in transformation or it's ending. And uh, the will of change is here, you know. You can, this is destined to happen. It's gone on long enough. So, I don't see much contact, but if they do allow change to happen, or allow an ending to happen, especially if someone hasn't made a decision, Okay, uh, Sagittarius, I hope that this gave you a bit of clarity. On to the next sign. Hello, Capricorn. So you want to know, will this person contact you? Let's see. So we're going to do, okay, two cards. I'm going to put that back. Two cards. So if the person will contact you, one card of advice. If they do contact you. Okay, why do your cards keep falling on the floor? One card of advice. Okay, 
and then one card to reverse. So you've got three cards. Okay, so will this person contact your strength? It could be dealing with a Leo. Two of Wands. Prince of Pentacles. It looks like somebody is trying to muster up the strength to go in a new direction. See, when it started with you, they thought it was going that way, but now they feel a, a, a completely different way about you. Maybe they want to even offer you um, commitment here, uh, taking things to the next level, whatever that looks like. So there, it looks like there will be communication here. Um, your advice is the moon. Allow your deepest inner thoughts about this situation, about the person to be expressed. Also, get in touch with yourself in regards to how you really feel about the situation. Um, if there are mental issues or some mental hangups, might want to communicate that. If there are things kept secret, the advice is uh, you might want to communicate that also. Um, so it looks like you, you're having some really good communication, Capricorn. Uh, you need to express some things. Uh, for, I'm, I'm feeling like these are things not talked about. So your advice is okay. Thank you. Yes, I would love to partner with you. I'd love to be your girlfriend or your boyfriend. But let's talk about all of these things here. You know. Okay, so Capricorn it looks really good. If you um, feel like this reading resonated with you, go over a book of reading. Take advantage of the Cyber Monday sale. And we're on to the next um, sign. Bye. Hi, Aquarius. So you want to know if this person that you're coming to the reading for... Will they contact you? Let's see. Two cards to indicate if they'll contact you. One card of advice. One card of advice for Aquarius. What should Aquarius do if contacted by said person? Okay. All right. So, Ten of Hearts. Nine of Clubs. Hmm. Aquarius, this this is really, really good. Um I don't know if this person is gonna contact you though, because this card is the secret admirer, the new boyfriend, new girlfriend. Somebody who can bring you some complete happiness, like the highest level of happiness. Um Let's see what your advice is. Ooh. Your advice is to separate, divorce, maybe due to infidelity. I kind of picked that up. Like maybe this person has a family. You might be the seek. You're you're who they admire. Who you're who they admire. You're the secret person. Um. You've been through a lot with this individual. Maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Doesn't have to be Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay. Let's, let's do one one card, one tarot card. Will there be contact between this person before? Hmm. You couldn't have to trust. Even after heartbreak. Your advice. This card speaks of divorce. Separation. This person may come back. You've been through a lot with them. You may have. Decided to go a new route. And they come back. And they want to be in this family dynamic or they want to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend. The advice is to separate. Divorce, maybe one card for three of swords, you know. Ooh, page of swords, yeah. Cut your losses here. 
and be short about it. Uh, yeah. This person loves you, but there's no real offer. They just... They may even want you to be their girlfriend while they have a whole family or a whole situation going on. Even after you've walked away and decided to go a different route. Anyway, the advice is to divorce, separate from this energy, cut your losses, cut it out. Or get more information. Require more information from them. The moon, wow, because they're holding something back. Anyhow, request a personal reading, Aquarius. If you feel like this resonated for you, gotta go. On to Pisces. Take care, guys. Okay, last but not least, Pisces. So you want to know if this person will contact you. Two cards to indicate if they'll contact you. One card of advice, which you should do if they do contact you. Let's see. All right. We'll put those back if they come back out. Then we know there is this could be a successful connection here, a mutually beneficial one. One that you know you guys are both offering the cup, your emotional investment. Uh, you're definitely waiting for communications. Four of water, ten of fire. Pisces, it looks like this person may already be in a dynamic uh, that they're bored and discontented in, that they may be trying to put an ending to, um, speak some truth in, maybe with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, could be you, could be someone else. Um, they feel like they have to lay down a burden because they feel like they miss an opportunity. They feel like they're missing an opportunity by uh, maybe being in a third party situation. Somebody wants to end that. This could be the other person. This could be you. Um, I don't see much communication. Just see a whole bunch of uh, emotional confusion. Not seeing what's in bef before you. Feeling like energetically feeling like they want to end a situation your advice is if they do contact you messenger of air um, offer them the opportunity to show you what it is they really want show an action um, and, and seize the opportunity if they do come towards you don't wait don't be hasteful about it or try to make them wait or wait it out this is move quickly either toward looks like toward move quickly toward them they come towards you it looks like they're ending something so if they come towards you this could be a, a Sagittarius Leo Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They come towards you. Um, allow your heart and soul to sing with passion. <laughs> Just be passionate toward them. Because there, there's something in the making here. Okay, Pisces. I hope that this gave you a bit of clarity. Thank you. Um, take advantage of the Cyber Monday sale over at the website. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.